Alrighty, folks, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Hey, I appreciate y'all taking the time to watch the videos, watch those stupid commercials. I really do appreciate it. Shake and Bake appreciates it because y'all know the deal. Everything from YouTube goes back into Shake and Bake. But talking about Shake and Bake, that's what this video is all about. Where is Shake and Bake? Where is Shake and Bake? Where in the heck in, where is Carmen San Diego? Not for you older folks. But no, really seriously, let's talk about where Shake and Bake is at. For those of y'all that sh saw the last video, America versus the world, Shake and Bake was was not feeling too well, man. Her her core was was not feeling too well. <laughs> If the engines, the heart, the wheels of the feet, the axles of the legs, I'll say the transmission is the is the core, your core, your stomach, your core area. So, yeah, she wasn't feeling too well. And where is she at? Oh, this one. She's at Stark's Performance and Maintenance. And... I'll show the pictures right over here. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get any video uh, because I had some appointments I had to take care of. But Mike was nice enough to at least get me some pictures of uh, Shake and Bake as they were pulling the transmission, doing a little bit of work on her, getting her set up and, and ready for when the transmission does come back. All they got to do is put the transmission back in back in shake and bake and, and there was a, some significant work done uh to to get shake and bake ready so not only uh did we send the transmission off and we'll get to where we sent it off and why we sent it there in a few minutes because i know a lot of you are going to be surprised where where i sent it to but Yeah, some significant work. So we we bought a new trans cooler. We flushed all the lines of the trans cooler, not the transmission, the trans cooler. We flushed all those lines, cleaned everything up underneath, uh, transmission wise and transmission cooler wise. We bought a new transmission cooler that's installed. The lines are cleaned up, and as you can see in the pictures, everything's ready. Uh, once the transmission comes back from where it's at getting built to hold the power we're putting down to the ground once it comes back all they got to do is take her up and put the transmission in start her up and we're ready to rock and roll and the whole purpose we did did this now is well one uh you guys saw that last video transmission is definitely was definitely hurt the uh, the two three shift those clutches were just gone because it just at wide open throttle it just spun uh, and hit the rev limiter every time we tried to shift the only time it worked well those two times that it worked one I left really, really soft <laughs> and let the car shift on its own. And then the second was uh, we short shifted. So when I launched, as soon as I launched, uh, I was trying to go to second, uh, second and third. Uh, and that's the only reason those last two runs, uh, Shake and Bake, did fairly decent. Well, the last run she did fairly decent with a 9.9. The run before that was a 10.7, I think. And I launched really, really, really soft. I barely launched at all. So, that's where Shake and Bake is at. Who I went with uh, to do... To build my transmission is I went to Sipple Speed and Performance. 
I know. I know we talked about going to Pure uh, many, many times. Uh, but due to the timelines and the ability to get it done before Rocky Mountain Race Week, that's one of the main reasons we got to get her done uh, is to get her back for Rocky Mountain Race Week. Hopefully the beginning of June so we can get some tests test runs in uh, to make sure everything's good to go before we go to Rocky Mountain Race Week. So I'm working with Sipple to try and get the trans back uh, so we can make that happen. Uh, and there's a, that's the first reason is they could get me the transmission. They guaranteed me to get the transmission back before I had to go to Rocky Mountain Race Week. And the second is... Some of y'all going to laugh. Some of y'all going to like, oh gosh, here he goes. <laughs> the second part was just pure gut feeling. Um, I reached out to Pure through their website asking about stage one, stage two uh, through their email. And it's been over a week and I still don't have anything back. Now, I did have Stark reach out because he is a dealer and installer for Pure. They did answer him, uh, but I had a few extra questions uh, that I had for Pure themselves, uh, and they never got back to me. They never answered. Uh, they never answered the mail. Now, Pure is top of the line. They do these for BMWs and Toyotas and blah, 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 everybody and their brother, and they got super fast cars out there but you know what Sipple's got super fast cars out there too Pure's had their problems Sipple's had their problems Southern Hot Rod's had their problems those were the three that I reached out to Pure, Southern Hot Rod and Sipple and yeah I, I, I get it um you know, there's been problems with each and every one of those three when you talk to different people. But you talk to other people, and their transmissions are fine. They run great. There's no problems with them. There's no issues with them. And they're from all three of the builders, Pure, uh, Sipple, and Southern Hot Rod. There's a lot of people out there that have a lot of good things to say about them. And it's just like anything any, any manufacturer of anything, be it uh, a camera, a microphone, a car, whatever, what have you. There's always going to be people out there with bad experiences. And there's going to be people out there with good experiences. And really, those are the only two experiences you're going to hear. Normally, the people that, that you know, just buy a product and it works and it runs and it does what it's supposed to do... In a review, you probably never hear from those folks. The two people you hear from is the people that really, really love the product. And those are not as prevalent as the negative reviews <laughs> that you see. Uh, because really, those reviews, more, more negative people are going to come out than positive people. And yes... People put up their own reviews. People pay for reviews. Uh, honest people. Companies pay for reviews. Blah, 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 blah. Right? They all do it. And it happens. But bottom line is, I just went with my gut. And my gut said, let's just go with simple. So as you've seen, the again, the transmission's out. It's boxed up. It's shipped. It's on its way to Sipple's speed and performance it may even be there by now so it was shipped out early friday morning if i'm not mistaken but thursday maybe it was thursday thursday or friday it was shipped out so it could be there it could be there by now it could be there monday uh i'll contact them ask them hey I'm going to follow it. Uh, I'm going to make sure I stay apprised on, you know, when to expect it back and things like that. But that's why I went with simple speed and performance. Take it for what it is. Um, you can bash me in the comments. 
I know some people probably will bash me in the comments uh, for not going with, with pure. Um, but it is what it is. That's what I did. That's where I spent my money. And now we're just in a weight gain to get Shake and Bake back. So you'll probably see a few filler videos just to keep people involved, keep the channel rolling, keep the, the channel out there. So be prepared for those. But yeah, we're just in a weight game to get the transmission back uh, to put Shake and Bake back on the track. So that's going to do it for this one, folks. If you're stopping in for the first time, please check out the rest of the channel. If you like what's going on with the rest of the channel, do me those few things. Like, subscribe, smash the bell, shoot me a comment, share it on your social media. I'll definitely appreciate it. Shake and Bake would definitely appreciate it. Uh, because every red penny from YouTube goes right back into Shake and Bake. That's it for this one, folks. Till next time. Adios.